Ladies and gentlemen, failure by proxy! Yeah, yeah. Let's go! Look at that. Look at that beanie that man's got on. Let's go. Yeah! Hell yeah. Gentlemen, I appreciate you. First and foremost, thank you for being here. Can you please properly introduce yourself? Let me know whereabouts in the world you're watching from right now and plug or promote anything you'd like. All right. Well, I'm Ant Man. I'm the guitarist. Um, do keyboards, piano stuff. Um, out of the Stockton, California area, but we do all of our rehearsing out of Galt. <laughs> and I'm Spaz. I'm the drummer. I'm the I'm the guy that wears the mask and all the makeup and all the crazy shit. And I do backing screams and samples. And uh, I'm, I'm in Galt, so you know the band is actually officially from Galt, <clears throat> California. It's about 20 minutes south of Sacramento. Hell yeah. And did I see earlier that, that Nick Miller promoted promoted this for today? Shout out Nick Mil shout oh, out boy, to man. Nick Miller, man. That's so that's who that's who you guys primarily go to for recordings and, and stuff like that? Yeah, um with with the way that our new sound came out, I, I guess stemming from about a about two years ago. Yeah, we started working with Nick and BG. He wanted me to say what's <laughs> up to you. Uh he's like, have a good time on the show and just love that guy say what's up so yeah nick nick's one of the the coolest brothers that we've ever met and you know for us it, it's surreal like i mean granted he was in you know skylet and for somebody like me that old fucker that i'm like damn i'm working with this guy and he just makes us sound next level and i, I just love him to death yeah he is he is a sweetheart he actually popped in like uh either a week or two ago when we had uh yeah we had the distortion Hell yeah. So We're how did find together, man? <laughs> that's cool. How did how did you guys originally meet? Actually, I was in a band um, when I when I moved out here to California. I think about 2014. Um, I had just retired from the military, and uh, I I met this band called Terraferno. Joined that band, and then I ended up wanting a, a different style or sound because I'm a new metal guy. So. I, I kind of ventured off and I, I had the the singer that was with me at the time, Jeremy Friedlander. He went with me and then we created um, Fire by Proxy. It was, it was just weird. It was it was so organic the way it, it came together. And then um, Chucky Bunny, which is uh, Chuck, one of my guitarists, I went up to him December 18th and I'm like, bro, you and I will be in a band together one day. Don't know when it is. And sure as shit, three days later, he's in the band. So. That is awesome. It, it, it's just like, yeah, it's weird <laughs> how it how it works. Your guys jam space looks badass behind you by the way. I love how like the the symmetry 100%. is like how perfectly is synced to the left and the right. Uh my co-host today by the way is the always famous JB JB Music. JB hit the boys with a question or two. Yo. So, I live over by Bakersfield. Are you guys having any shows? close to me or like am i gonna have to travel they're what what like six seven you, know, you guys were like six seven hours away yeah about that mm -hmm. you know with i think with the with the arrival of our newest vocalist um i think we'll be able to make our way out in that territory um relatively soon so right um just stay tuned i think we're gonna make some waves out that direction and we're friends with like edema so i mean i know they do a bunch of bako shows and we, who knows, maybe they'll help us get on just to open for them. But yeah, typically we have been, I, I mean, the pandemic really fucked up everybody, but we've been so holed up in Sacramento area. It's hard for us to even just branch out, you know, and with the stuff that we've been through the past year, uh, you know, we made it out to Virginia, which was amazing. And we had a, a blast last year, but then <clears throat> shit came apart and you know you guys flew to virginia for for a big show yeah we we played the blue ridge rock festival last year which was insane you know we drove we yeah didn't fly out. we drove that's awesome well i've toured before and, <laughs> and I, I wanted these guys to get the experience of touring and i, I bought an rv and 
like, you know, six dudes cramped up in a little, it's like a 25 foot RV, you know, smelling ass and feet and just <laughs> nobody shits on the RV. But, you know, we had a great time. Oh, and, awesome. you know, I, I would say the best memory I got of that is our, our former singer, Rob, <laughs> <laughs> leaving the stage. And we're all up there. We had no idea what he was doing. But he goes over to Wage War stage while they're setting up. He's got their whole crowd. He's singing to them. We're like, come over here. Come see us. Dude, it was awesome. Yeah. We saw so many dope-ass <laughs> bands. That is amazing. I, I do want to discuss your, your form of vocalist here in a bit. But let's play some music. Um, is there a particular song you'd like me to start off with? Or you just want me to dive right in? Do, do we want to blow it now? Or you want to save it? For we're saving end? it. We're saving it. I know, I know what you're talking about. We're saving it. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna build up to it. We gotta build up to that. Uh, well, we did play Broken Ones what, last week. Let's do Animal. We'll do Animal. We'll pick something different a little bit, and then we'll we'll tease them with a the little teaser that we got set up. So, fellas, I know this is a touchy subject. I don't want to dive into all the details, but since since the passing, how are you doing? And how did you go about the process of finding the next vocalist? Hmm. Uh, so, you know, unfortunately things happen and we kind of succumbed to a individual that had mental health and it just took him. And so it was a really sad, very unexpected, shocking sort of moment. Um, and then we, we did our whole grieving. We took a time out. We kind of had to just regroup and kind of gather our thoughts and gather. Um, we had to decide ourselves. if we were going to stick it because yeah. we almost <laughs> broke up. Yeah, I mean, it was just, it was, you know, it was kind of a big player in, in, in that group to reshape the whole music of it. Um, but then after things kind of settled a little bit, we, we just really decided, like, the best thing to do is really to memorialize it and keep going. Get the songs out there that he participated in and try to, to kind of keep that um, legacy alive. Now, fast forward then to today, um, <clears throat> Elk is the new singer. We call him Elk. And he and I actually played together in a band some time ago. And when this started to come about, he was looking to get some shows out into this area because he's a little bit more Southern, Southern Cal. And um, I'm like, well, hey, what do, you, what do you think about doing some of our stuff? And he kind of got real excited by the idea. He's like, send me some stuff. Send me some of your, your tracks and stuff you guys haven't worked on. Sent him a bunch of stuff. And literally the guy is just... I mean, no pun intended, but he's an animal. He came out and he's like, dude, I've already got this song written, this one written. I've got, I've got like ideas already for like four of the ones you guys have already just sent me. So um, it gelled pretty well. And I got along with him really well before. Um, so it was just a really great sort of transition. I think it really helped ease us back into, you know, failure by proxy just because it was a really smooth and kind of easy, um, you know, transition back into it. So that's kind of how that that formed and we're really excited about a lot of the new material i mean it's it's just it's a lot of fun it's, it's, is there is there a timetable for for when the i'm assuming ep or album is ready to go i know we have a teaser for today but as as far as the whole project hey bg why don't you just like strike a little a uh, little electrical bolt in nick's ass <laughs> and, and be like yo nick tell your proxy yeah. needs some music yeah <laughs> he's I'll, our dude so yeah, you know, with uh, Elk Living in Pismo Beach, um, we've pre-proed all these songs before, and, you know, there was discussions with, you know, ev everybody has their take on the music in, in the band, and typically we always got to follow the vocalist, because if the vocalist isn't vibing or feeling it, it, it it's not going to work, because, because that person cannot connect to it. So th some of these songs, like, we've had in our pocket for about a year or A couple two. years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We've had these from the um from the get and it, it's like with elk, elk on them no, no. Oh, okay, so, okay 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 but now i mean we have them we've got all the pre-pros with elk and there's going to be a song that you'll hear is called funhouse mirrors that song is that's going to be our probably our last song that we're releasing off the ep so five or six songs it's bit, from it's now it's a bit twisted it's gonna take fuck yeah yeah it, it, it's it's, it's you know fuck Funhouse Mirrors, I'm telling you, it's it, it's it's so dope. And um, the thing we were so focused on as a band was trying to make everything badass, badass. Everything's got to be badass, and hopefully the fans like it. But then we had a an epiphany where it's like, well, let's write our music, and if the fans like it, 
great they they do if they don't well then we know we got to stick away from that type of stuff but we've had these songs that we wanted to release and we've talked to nick and nick's like fuck yeah dude let's do it so we're you know he he got sick and we we got this one here devil's got a new friend and then mm -hmm. uh you know we're working on dignity next week and the week after it's defiance we've got all these songs we're just gonna bang them out yeah so and, I'm, and, and I'm allowed to play this whole one minute teaser that you sent me. Yeah. This is exclusive for you and That's your it. listeners, brother. Tell I me love it. I love it. <laughs> before we play it, before we play it, if you guys are feeling the vibe, supporting the band, please go to Spotify, hit the follow button, support Failure by Proxy. They absolutely deserve it. Really, really cool dudes. Um, I'm excited to keep talking with them. I do want to do some trivia with you guys before I do the teaser. Did you, oh. did you bring any hot sauce? <laughs> Excellent. I got some Excellent. Yeah. It counts. Uh, before we uh, before we play it, what is? <laughs> well, damn. Damn, yeah. son. <laughs> All right, hell yeah. Uh, regarding the trivia, though, what movie or TV show have you guys? <laughs> what is it? Married with children. You got it. Devil's right. got a new friend. <laughs> Yo, it's it just it just has that like big arena sound and vibe like like i i just see you guys open for like the new three days grace not the old one the like a shine down something like that like it just has that big hard rock arena vibe sound it sounds it sounds great thank you uh yeah. you know i mean granted it's just the instruments that we play but i mean <clears throat> it's got to go to nick because when when we're in here I mean, I pretty much got the same exact gear because this is uh, the recording studio that I have my nonprofit for. But uh, it, it sounds killer in here. Then we get to Nick's studio. We're like, holy shit, this song is way better than we thought. You know, and it, it's just buying into the process. And, and that, that's really you do it right. You do the pre-production. <laughs> then you do the, the actual re-recordings when you okay. know it like the back of your hand so it's quick everyone can knock out their part and then nick puts his little sizzle sizzle well, fancy on it and the, then the one the one thing about that song is where the the drums go double time that was actual actually an accident yeah. because my, my midi mapping because i mean i've got my dw my hybrid over here where i record and do all the midi shit and i send it to nick his i use a different plugin than he uses so when he brought it in we were like, holy shit, no, keep that, keep that. I can play that. That's that's easy. But it, it just it just happened so organically. We're like, shit, we just rewrote a portion of the drums because of a plug-in. It, it was awesome. That's cool. Those are those are awesome accidents. It always happens with Nick too. It like yeah. he, he he's our oh my god, we I love, love him. We love that dude. He doesn't love the pick scrapes I do right before the guitar solo in the song. I have to argue with him on that one. I'm like, bro, you got to keep it in. <laughs> Come on, bro. Come on. JB, so if you ever talk to Nick, the key word to say is for sure. For sure. Love That's that all guy. he ever says. That's for it. sure. <laughs> Shout out to Nick Miller. Hey, uh, fellas, here's your trivia. This right here is your trivia regarding married with children. Yes. And it's a hard one. I thought this entire list was quite possibly the hardest list of trivia questions for any random TV show that anyone suggested. Who is Al Bundy's favorite wrestler? Oh. <laughs> Better get that thought ready. <laughs> Who is Al Bundy's favorite wrestler? Oh. It's a fictional wrestler. You got me. <laughs> we got him. <laughs> Enjoy the hot sauce. Let's go ahead and throw in the broken ones. The reason I want to play this one is because it won the other day. It's in our tournament of champions 16, right smack in there. What are you? Hey, whoa, 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 what are you? What are you up to over there? You guys are up to something. Sauce in our drinks. I had to full screen you real quick. Saucing them up. All right. Hell yeah. Don't know how it's gonna turn out, but we'll see. <laughs> it's a party. We knew we'd get a little crazy today. Fellas, give me give me a weird 
a weird random hobby you have that uh, has nothing to do with music when you're not when you're not playing video games, you're not playing Call of Duty, you're not playing, uh, or you're not jamming jamming tunes. Just a weird hobby you have. Maybe you collect something strange. What you got for me? I, I make stuff, and I think BG and JV, you both know what I make. Yeah, the goods, the good stuff. The good. Um, actually, I got into pottery. It's weird. Um, my girlfriend uh, has a little pottery studio, and I started just making. I mean, like if you if you see the bowls that I make, not those bowls, the other ones, um, they're all wonky and shit. But uh, for me, or jet skiing or fishing, but like pottery, it's so not me. But it, it, I always mess it up. But it, it still looks cool. <laughs> Like I like like I, in the movie Ghost, where the thing spins and you do all this and shape yeah. it and stuff. He well, tries to do that. He tries to do that with every band member too. And we're yes. Like, <laughs> I get my we're, like, we're like, come on, man. <laughs> for sure. Sure, like weird hobby. Oh, mine's not very glamorous. I mean, I don't have a lot of time for it lately, but I I just like to read. I like to I'd like to grab a bunch of books and just yeah. See, it's kind of boring. Boring. Sorry. No, that's cool. I mean, you're leveling up, leveling up uh, the knowledge by by reading all the time. They say uh, people that are really, really smart read a read a lot of shit. So, yeah. Uh, the one book that I've read that I'm proud of is Jurassic Park by Michael Crichton. I read that too. Yeah. That's yeah. basically, yeah, that's really the only book I've read. We can't count. Uh, I'm I'm kind of in the same boat, but I I read The Da Vinci Code. <laughs> Uh, when I saw the movie, I was like so blown away and someone gave me like a, a huge hard copy version with like pictures in every page so I could see the art they were talking about and stuff like that, like during while reading it. So it helped. It helped me read it. But uh, <laughs> JB, People what's would think that I would read like books related to music? Like I, I love all those type of books, but you just looked at the pictures. Who you I fall asleep like I, I, I'm, I'm, I have ADHD, so I get bored. Really <laughs> I do, Sorry. too. I do too. Both ADHD and board. JB, uh, what you got? Yo, what what music do you guys listen to every day? Um, what what would you say would be the typical genre that you guys listen to? Uh, <laughs> am I not allowed to answer? No, he's not uh, allowed to answer. You go ahead. <laughs> I'm all over the spectrum. I'll literally go from Yanni to Dream Theater. So I love me the Dream Theater. I, I was kind of a prog player. Mm -hmm. So I, I dig a lot of that. Steve Vai's, Satriani's. Um, but then I'll literally cross over and listen to like Matchbox 20. So it's more about kind of the mood. If I'm looking to be energized, it's a lot of that in flames, um, bands like that, um, kind of blanking now, but the Dream Theater-esque style. Love Per those periphery? Bands. Um, yeah, some of their stuff's really dope. A um, couple new ones that I forgot. Oh, I forgot the names of some newer bands. Just amazing. Um, and then I'll just go over some just maybe like oh. Trivium. Yeah. Okay, because I, I I could tell like your vibe on on what you're based on who you're talking about. Like, as far as like we we were in Blue Ridge and we got done playing our set and uh, these fans came up and they're like. Oh man, I saw you guys in San Diego. You guys were awesome. And they thought I was in trivia. And what? I'm like, cool. <laughs> so good to see you again, man. <laughs> like, that is awesome. Like, you should have been like, you guys want an autograph? And you just signed yeah. your actual name and they're like, wait, 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 wait. Hey, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> you know what, what's funny, BJ, is the other day you were playing Flaw and he's a, he's a good friend of mine. And I'm like, Damn, I, I listen to Flaw, like Electric Callboy. I mean, I like the old name, Eskimo Callboy. I listen to a bunch of the heavier stuff, and it's like, it just, you know, gets your blood pumping. And it, 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 yeah, I don't listen to what he listens to. How do you know the singer, or you know who from Flaw? Oh, Chris Bowles. Oh, hell yeah. If, uh, oh, yeah. I need to get him on your show. Spaz, if, if you can pull that off, would you be my co host that day? <laughs> Fuck yes. Let's party. Yeah. Let's party. If you set it up and you can pull it off, we'll talk. You be yeah, my co-host that a, day. We do a show be, before the pandemic. We did a thing called Vet Tracks Festival, and he's always our headliner. He, he supports the vets because obviously I'm a vet and I have a nonprofit. Yeah. It, it, 
dude, uh, Chris, I, I know he's got his little stuff, but no, he's a, he's a great person inside and out, you know, that'll be fun. Sure. That'll be fun. Also, right. thank you. Do, do thank you for your, with, thank you for your service, by yeah. the way. Thank you. Oh, oh, thank you. We played recognize. Um, I think it was the 15th anniversary. Um, and he came up on stage and he sang with mm-hmm. us and we're like, holy shit, we actually just played a, a Yeah, song. that's funny because then the whole band's watching you play their song from the crowd and we're like, don't mess up, don't mess up. <laughs> right, we're playing the rap and we're like, don't mess up. <laughs> yeah, that's got to be weird, you know? covering a song, but the band's in the crowd watching you cover yeah, it. Yeah, it was. That would yeah. be scary. I could imagine as like a as a performer, that would be, that would be a little scary. It was fun times so. though. Yeah, it was good. Good vibes. Fellas, I'm going to stump you on this one again. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Married with children. One of Kelly's good friends went on to star on Baywatch. What is the name of Kelly's friend Fawn? What is her real name? Who went on to star on Baywatch and Black Scorpion? <laughs> Say Chelsea, it's like me twenty five percent. Her first right. name starts with an L. Never mind. <laughs> uh, I know. Who did Nikki Zix marry? Was it, was it one of those Baywatch girls? Yeah, but that's like Donna D. Uh, shit. I don't know. Oh, know. he knows his Baywatch babes. He knows his Baywatch babes. So it's the answer is Lisa Boyle. I'm gonna spin it because we're having fun. We were able to double stump you today. I'm telling you, this list is like the hardest trivia. I I didn't know like any of the 10 questions on this list. And I've seen a lot of Married with Children. No way. Mm -hmm. You guys don't have to do that if you don't want to. We'll partake. But unless you would like to, you're more than welcome. Uh, what is what is the the one song where if nobody has ever heard the band, one we haven't played today, that you're handing them the headphones saying, "This is my band. Check them out. Check me out." Can but we it's share our list? yeah. <laughs> well. You know, uh, <laughs> hmm. Parasite, man. Uh, I, would have to go, I would have to go Parasite because, yeah. you know, like. You got to let it play to the guitar solo. No solos. <laughs> no solos. <laughs> uh, Come yeah, on, man. It would be Parasite. I mean, because, again, I, I wish we had the other stuff to release, but um, it, it would have to be. I mean, I don't think we've actually ever played that on local band Smoke Out. Well, let's jam it. Let's find out what we're talking about. I mean, Spotify is saying it's fire. And then we got to play, uh, we got to play Gemini saying we have to play the one that has the video for sure because it's the one that you have the video for. Yeah. This, oh. You know, surprisingly enough, I didn't wear my mask in this video, which, which is which is weird. Like the, the image that you see, that's actually me. Yeah. Can you grab a couple of the mask pads that you have behind you or some oh, stuff oh. as as examples so we can see it up close? <laughs> I'm excited yeah, for those my, are mask, my skin so. masks. Give them the, the, the top one, top right, or top, top. Yeah, yeah, fuck yeah. That's Spaz, Spaz is going to hook it up. He hit me up the other day. <laughs> so, that was pretty dope. My Hellhound mask is this one. This is cool. Oh, that thing is gnarly. So, so what happens is, like... <sighs> As we're in the RV and shit, I put all this makeup and stuff on, and so then I got contacts. So as I'm playing, I'll play the whole set with this shit on. But now that I do a lot of screaming, so I'll, I'll, <laughs> I will drill holes in the in the sides so I can put my my mic in them. Oh, this is the one that Rob wore. This is the one that hurts. Like those right there, those are actual real screws. So when I wear this one. I actually cut myself, and it sucks. <laughs> like the inside edging cut, like cuts your head. Like, no, that cuts my hand because as I play, so I'll put it. Hold on, and that's a spinoff of the one that's on the image. So as I'm playing, I'm going like this, and my arm comes right across and just cuts me. Oh wow! 
I don't know if you could hear that, but as I said, as my arm comes across, it'll it'll actually cut me open, which is fun. That one's kind of like what the images did. Add, adds to the that's show. Like, that's my weak one, but I had that one. My guys I admire that shit. Let me see. Yo, those things are dope, man. Those well, things are cool. One. You got one, B- BG. You got my actual replica mask that I. I got, and uh, JV's getting one too. So I can't wait. I think I think my wife tomorrow Same. is going to to the house to uh, check in with the family, and, and that's the address we have everybody sent stuff to. So I'll I'll, I'll relay back immediately. I, I I know you got the little tie straps. I have a bigger. Uh, I do like a little bit more customization with head harnesses and all that. But do me a favor, take a put that thing on and just take a picture of it. <clears throat> oh yeah, for sure. I totally will. Let's check out uh, the Over the Edge official video. I swear, all the songs sound to me like potential radio songs. They really do. They're like right there in the pocket as far as just the catchiness and everything. I swear. So this is what I look like on stage. Okay, so you got the slits in the hole so the vocals can still pop through. And it probably does like a natural (laughs) cupping for the screams. Uh, yeah, typically my screams are very throaty and it, it helps because it, um, it, 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 it kind of puts a little natural reverb on it. So typically with, with my masks, what I'll do is through the, this little cup right there, I'll drill a hole through it and pop the mask through because I typically my- like to put water in my mouth and spit it out all over their gear. Oh, so <laughs> well, it's entertainment. <laughs> That's entertainment oh, for sure. Until he electrocutes us. <laughs> oh, that's entertainment too. <laughs> I mean, you go to our show, you're probably going to get hit with a drumstick or something because I love giving drumsticks. Shit, I give away cymbals all the time. It's that just is fun. cool. That is cool. Giving back to the community. I love it. Uh, oh, yeah. Fellas, we got time for a couple more questions. JB, rattle off uh, a final one or two, and then we'll all rattle off a final one or two, and then uh, we'll, we'll keep partying in the chat. Yo, so I'm also a fellow Twitch streamer. Spaz, can I talk to you about maybe doing a live performance or maybe an interview with you guys uh, on my stream when it comes to my 420 goal? Um, We just hit, we're we're about to hit 420 followers and I want to do this big old stream about it. I'm going to have full frontal lobotomy on it and all this other people. I just want to know if you'd be interested. For sure. It, I let, fucking appreciate let me just, it. Let me just rotate my, look at that drum kit right there. So yeah, we've got everything in here. So yeah. So sure. you could do like, you could do like a drum, a drum playthrough of a song or two live with uh, just like feeding your, your out audio out to, to the stream. Yeah. I mean, we've got ass tons of gear in here. It's easy. Sure. Easy peasy. Hell yeah. Amazing. I, I'll be hitting you up about it, bro. Thank you so much. Sure. That is yeah. awesome. And uh, I also want to, I want to hit you up, JB, about uh, mixing type stuff because I do a little other stuff on the side. So, all right, on. Look at this magic, magic happening left and right. I love it. I love it, fellas. Uh, final serious question for me. I ask just about every guest that we have on the show this final uh, question. What is a piece of advice that you could give that that somebody in the music industry has told you? That, that changed your career, it, it, it opened your eyes to something you weren't really considering, or early on in your career, you made a terrible music mistake. You wasted all this money on something that didn't matter. You, you weren't taking it seriously because of this, and you wanna tell this band that is just now starting out in their garage, they had never played a live show, don't make this mistake. One or the other. <laughs> uh, it it kind of sounds like grandfather-ish kind of advice. But um, for me, I I would have to say, um, fuck it. If you want it, go grab it. And and don't think it's going to be given to you because nothing is. And I know that the the cliche, nothing in life is given. No, it's like seriously in the music scene, especially with the way it's been in the past fucking five, six, seven years. No, it, you've got to work. You got to work the Twitter. You got you got to work all the social media stuff, which we actually we don't because we're old and we have jobs and <laughs> we <laughs> we've got kids and divorce, all that stuff. But if you want it, go for it. 
and and the biggest thing is because I my band will tell you I'm like one I've got so many endorsements for one reason because I believe in myself and I believe in a product I, I believe <clears throat> it doesn't matter how talented you are it, it what matters is the belief if you can yeah. sell it right. yeah sorry I didn't mean to interject here but I've got two two good points I think one is in your circle and that being and for us it's like Sacramento. You know, befriend the other bands. There's, you're not competition. You all have the same goal, trying to achieve a level of success, right? It plays um, no benefit to try to belittle another band. You're all trying to do the same thing. Become a big group of individuals so you guys can kind of achieve the same thing. And I'll just, I'll leave it with this. With Singer Cannibal, wait, wait, wait! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I had a, I had a, like a five second computer hiccup. Uh, okay. I, the last thing I heard was, "I'll, I'll end it with this." And yeah. Then... Okay. <laughs> so, basically, say shut up. I, solo. No, no, no. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not at all. But I, I, we missed something <laughs> important, and I, and I want to hear, I want to hear what you have to say yeah, for, real, no, for real. This was actually rather profound. If you really dissect it, I got a chance to speak briefly. I was backstage with Candlebox and the singer Kevin Martin. And I asked him the very same question. And he paused for a second. He turned to me and said, get a good lawyer. And when you get a good lawyer, get another lawyer to overlook what the first lawyer did. And when you think about that, it's like the, the business can be pretty aggressive. And you got to be smart with some of that stuff as much as you possibly can. And really understand things that take place within contractual obligations and such. Um, so that you can set yourself up for success. But on the positive side, make sure you're friends with your band. Again, that scene. Become part of the scene and, and visit your other local bands. Go to their shows, too. I mean, that's a huge part of it. So we love a lot of our local fans and local uh, bands, and we try to partner with a lot of them. So but, that builds that community. But, but I, I do want to add on to that real fast. BG, look how many times I've, I promote the other bands. Yeah, those are our brothers and well, maybe sisters too, but it, it's like I gotta give them a shout out. You know, Waves of Distortion. You know, even a Skylit Drive um, said it. Um, Waves. Uh, we already said Waves. Oh, Lion yeah. Court. Um, LRC. They're great people. Love Rage Chaos. Do you guys know Preacher? Uh, Preacher. Fuck yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know what's funny? I know they're from <laughs> Vegas, but or Nevada. Uh, but you know, they brought us out and. Uh, we, Dude, we, we started fucking with Preacher two years ago. We love those guys. And let me tell you, hands down, I, I even told Nate at the last show when they were with uh, the original lineup of Skylit Drive, this dude owned the stage. Yeah. He, he jumped on the bar. He was in his little Bowser and Mario suit. And yeah. I know he mentioned it. Bro, he's a sweetheart. You would think he's like some pretentious asshole, but no, the... These people, we are not like that. You know, this is how you get up close and intimate with them. My son was with me at that show, and they were like, hey, man, what's up? And my yeah. son's got, like, two of his shirts, and he's like, oh, yeah, it's so awesome. Yeah. You know, Alpha Preacher, Complex, oh, Alpha, Alpha yeah. Complex. You know, it, it's, it, it's, a, it's um, damn it, it's like if you were in a platoon or any like military ish it's, it's we all take care of each other because I, i'll be damned if i'm not going to shout out somebody else because i won't step on anybody else to make myself better or make us better we want everybody to get there together and we know it's not going to happen like that but yet we have to try i mean i have certain national people that i can talk to and it, it name drop all, all that bull bullshit but it's like hey let's get on this show together hey we can get i know these guys are coming let's get on this show together you know it, it's you gotta you gotta network networking go on sounds to like it sounds it's to me good. like you guys have big hearts man and that's that's awesome you su you support your your fellow your fellow band your your locals that need that need the love that other people should just know about because they're that damn good and that's yeah. what we that's what we try to do here too also is just is just showcase hey man I heard a really kick-ass band the other day. Check them out. Pa t pass it along. Tell somebody else. Yeah. Go to a show. Buy some merch. Support Support local music. Fellas, this is a lot of fun, man. I, I appreciate you guys taking some time out of your day to do this. You guys are kick-ass. You're this close away. Uh, I, I hope everything works out with, with the new vocalist. I will scream at Nick 
as soon as possible and tell him to finish whatever mixes he's holding back yeah. on you guys or whatever the case may be. <laughs> hey, BG, again, like I, I texted you on the side. Thank you for everything you do. Yeah. This shit is so sick. And if it wasn't because of Jeff Denny from Set It, yeah. I would have never learned about you. So this is amazing. Love you, Jeff. I, I have heard different bands from not on, on this coast, on the East Coast. I'm like, damn, these fucking guys are awesome. Yeah. So you are badass. And that's why I support you. You you know the other stuff, but that's that's why. Because what you are doing for us and all these other bands, I, I don't really know anybody else doing it. Yeah. So... You are the shit. That is, it melts my heart, man. Thank, thank you guys. Thank you guys so for I all. I appreciate it. One shot of bong water. <laughs> for me, one shot of bong water. Oh, that's right. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Fuck I'm me. the bong water guy. <laughs> oh, look at that. Yeah, we yeah. go. Uh, I don't yeah. think he really dislikes it very much. I think he no, no, it no, it sucks. All right, all right, all right. For you, for you. I'm gonna play Sick of the Fake. JB, let's show our boys a good time. I change my bong water often, but it, this, as soon as you rip it once or twice, that taste just is there. It 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 taints the no. water. <laughs> BG, I need to see the. Obviously, you don't have it yet, but I want to see the bong water from the Scully that I sent you. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure that'll be uh, like like Monday, <laughs> Monday's show for sure. <laughs> oh, which by the way, crazy enough, Monday. Uh, maybe we. I don't know if we'll do it Monday. Monday is our one year Twitch anniversary. Yeah, hell yeah. Simultaneously, the Tournament of Champions 15, which you guys, I believe, are in the 16th and final one, Tournament of Champions 16, right there. So, uh, usually whoever brings the most fans to these things wins. Best of luck. It'll probably be in uh, January or late December. I'm not sure yet. Um, but uh, we'll tag you in a whole bunch of stuff way in advance before before we uh, uh, have that actual event. But fellas, this was a lot of fun, for real. I appreciate you guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. The bong water was terrible. It's still... It's still uh, JB, how you feeling? Bro, I, I, I don't want to talk about it, bro. He said, he said, bleh, bleh. Bleh. <laughs> I did do a, another gift of 10 subs. Like I said, I would tonight. So God bless you. I see it. I see it right now. I have the sounds muted so we're not interrupted because I like to post these on it on YouTube. Is that okay with you if I cut this later and, and post on YouTube, send you the link, all that stuff? We, we, we love you. We love you guys. And thank you so much for having us. I love yeah. you as well. Much love. Gentlemen, enjoy the rest of your day. And uh, if you're watching, one more time, please support the band. Go to Spotify. Go to YouTube. Hit the follow button. Hit the subscribe button. Failure by proxy! Yeah, hell yeah! Let's go!